Welcome back, everyone. So glad to have you guys here. Uh, real quick, before we get any further into the video, let me just say two things. Two things, all right? Number one, Monday the 21st uh, will be four weeks that I've been a parent. And I've been wanting to kind of hop on my channel and kind of share some of my experiences and what I've learned and what it's like for me. And uh, if you're interested in any of that, let me know in the comments below and, and I'll, I'll make that video. But if not, no big deal. Uh, that's not necessarily what this channel is about. So, you know, it, it is what it is. But, you know, if, if you are interested, let me know, please. Uh, secondly, if you're new here to the channel, go ahead and click subscribe. I do videos, you know, fairly often. Maybe not as much as I, I used to because of the newborn. Uh, but... Uh, I do them when I can, and uh, I do the best that I can. Anyway, feel free to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. Moving on. So, went to Walmart the other day, right? Because that's, that's where I live now all of a sudden. I don't know. After I had the baby, I just spend... I, I feel like I have to make so many trips to Walmart. I don't know why, but anyway... Uh, while I was there, I had to pick up a handful of things, and I always, I, I found myself in the in the shampoo aisle, and, you know, I was like, well, uh, let's, let's, every time I go to the shampoo aisle or the deodorant aisle, I always look for, you know, odd and end things that maybe I could bring home and, and, and take a look at on this channel, and I found something, and that is this, this Bella brand sea salt uh, it, it says pure natural soap, and uh, believe it or not, this is made in Australia, which is different for me because the majority of my soaps are either made in China, like the cheap stuff, like the really cheap stuff, or made here in the States, the, the United States. So that's different. Uh, I, I think the only other, I have a few soaps. I have a soap that was made in Egypt. I have a soap that was made in, in France, but the majority of my soaps are made here in the U.S. So it's just very different to, to have a soap that is made, you know, further away in a land down under, if you, if you, you know. Anyway, that's a dumb joke. Moving on. But when I bought this, I originally, you know, I've recognized the name Bella. I was like, I, I, I thought that maybe this was the first time I've ever seen it, but I was wrong. Uh, I have looked at Bella before. I bought this at a Cracker Barrel, believe it or not. And uh, it, it was so, you know, when I finally figured it out, I'm like, ah, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. No wonder why it feels so slippery. These Bella brand soaps are, are like silky smooth. I mean, they are like, it's almost like touching a, a bar of wax. So it's very, very uh, fine almost, you know, there's no, uh, exfoliating properties, it's, it's, it's not rugged, it is slick, but, uh, taking a look at this bar, it, uh, it has this, you know, nice, you know, n like, real good color to it, blue and, like, a creamy white, like a baby blue with creamy white, it, it looks almost like cotton candy, it's, uh, very pleasing to look at, but, and I guess it's going with the, you know, the sea salt thing. I'm like, ah, oh, that's cool. Uh, pure natural soap doesn't really mean anything. But I do really love, like, the stamped leaves on both sides. That is fantastic. I really do love that. Um, but let's kind of talk about the soap just entirely. From what I know, I haven't used it, obviously. So this is a 5.7 ounce bar of soap and 161 grams. That's a very weird combination of numbers. I don't know why, because if it, you know, if it was me, I want to keep it simple. So we're like, I would either do five or six. But you know, whatever. Maybe it's one of these things where they they make it in 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 exact numbers for uh, profit reasons. But I could be wrong. I don't know. Uh, I noticed, though, that this one does say uh, triple milled, if you can read that. This one does not. Maybe it is, but I, I really do, I couldn't tell you the difference. But let's get into the, the, the actual scent, and I'll kind of give you my thoughts about the, the entire thing, start to finish. So 
So it's very refreshing. It's almost like a, uh, like a, like maybe a sporty kind of smell, like a, uh, maybe a suavish vibe that, hmm. It's very refreshing. It's, it's, uh, ooh, I'm trying to think of the words here. It smells almost like a, like how rain is, uh, portrayed in, in, in products, that, that rainy, you know, smell. It's very, very good. It does, like I said, it does kind of have that sporty kind of outdoorsy smell. Uh, not necessarily like in an Old Spice way, but... Imagine if Febreze made a, a, a cologne. That's what this smells like. It smells really good. Doesn't smell like sea salt, but it is really refreshing. Mmm. So hard to like pinpoint. I'm trying to compare in my head. And I can't. I can't think of anything. It's just so... It's something that I've never smelled before. Hmm. So... My thoughts. It smells kind of like a... Like I said, it smells like if a breeze made a cologne. Which isn't bad. Just different. Very slick to the touch. Uh, this is relatively cheap. I think I paid, it says $3.97 on here, you know, but after tax, that's over $4, uh, which isn't that bad. You know, if, if you keep it under 5 that's uh, like less than a dollar an ounce, so that's still pretty good in my opinion. Um, all natural. What more can you ask for? Made in Australia. What about that? Anyway, all in all, I think I, I would give the value of this for four bucks, you know, a little over four dollars. That's pretty good. So, you know, because Dr. Squatch is a five ounce bar of soap and they're all natural. And they're like, what, seven, eight bucks without shipping and handling. So, this has to be at least a eight out of ten and in value anyway, as far as bar soaps go. The smell, I'd probably give it a seven out of ten. It's not necessarily my cup of tea, but it smells good enough to where when I use this, I'm gonna feel comfortable about it. And presentation, it's just a sticker. You know, four out of ten. This is what it is though. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. It's completely free. And guess what? If you uh, you know, don't like what you see, feel free to unsubscribe at any time. It won't hurt my feelings. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.